if you can't take the Irish sarcastic humour, then why are you here? 2020 is the year of skincare for me, by the way. Who the hell knows if something rebonds their hair? Am I late on a trend I was never a part of? Good vibes, yeah, we bomb. Hey kings and queens, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a first for me. We're doing an empties video and I've never done an empties video before. So I'm excited because I've been planning this for a while, but it takes a while to get a box full of empties. Like you have no idea. If you are new, if you've never been here before, welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. I hope you are well. If you are new though, hit that subscribe button. Join the family, join the good vibes. If you like my vibe, don't forget to subscribe. I'm gonna be real and I'm gonna be honest for a second. I wanted to film this video and when to film this video, about three months ago, four months ago, and I realized that I didn't have an many or any empties. But we have gathered a hefty, sparkly box of empties. These are a full box of empty products. I've been gathering these for months, and we're ready to go and to see what goodies I have in here. So we have all the products in here and I will be talking through all of them. Out of all the products that I always go on about, what are the ones that I fully used up? And would I repurchase them? That's the real question, isn't it? When wanting to film this video, I realized that the only products I have that are empty that I use up fully are products I adore or products I want to adore because <laughs> let's be honest if I hate something I'm not gonna finish it like I'm sorry does anyone actually finish products they hate or like I feel like the only reason I finished some of these is because I really wanted to love them but I just it just, the connection wasn't there, you know? The connection was that not there. We're gonna give a shout out to my hair because she's growing, she's thriving, she's really thriving during this quarantine. Me, maybe not. My hair, definitely. Also, I just wanna ask, are empties videos a thing anymore? Am I late on a trend I was never a part of? Or do we want to bring them back? Do you know what spurred me to make this? I saw Jackie, an old Jackie Ina empties video about five months ago and I was like, I wanna do an empties video, that looks kind of fun. But then I realized I didn't have any empties. So I have been saving up these empties for a minute. All beauty, all beauty, not much makeup though, if any. So we're just gonna dive right into my little box of tricks. So the first empty I have here is this perfume, the Marc Jacobs Decadence Perfume. Oh, when you open it, you can still smell it. This is my winter scent. This scent is, it's so gone. I don't even know why I'm trying to spray it. But this is my winter scent. This scent screams winter to me, screams being cozy, screams being glam. I adore, I adore the packaging. Like, it's not tacky, it's weighty. It looks like a bag, it came out a few years ago. I've had a few of these. This is like my winter fragrance. I love this perfume. I adore this perfume. This is not my first bottle. This is not my last bottle. This is just my most recent one. My boyfriend actually bought me this one, so hence why I kept onto the bottle, because I'm like sentimental or whatever. I adore this perfume. I love this perfume. Find this perfume on my body from the months of like October, November, maybe September, depending, until like January, February. I can't even describe it, but it's just sexy, wintry, cozy, warm vibes. Second thing on my empties list, and I don't even have, I have two of these. This is, I'm gonna get my fresh one because these are a little nasty. The ones I have are a little disgusting looking. So I have a fresh one. This is the Mitchum Clinical Gel. Sounds kind of like medicine. This is the best deodorant I've ever used. It's a deodorant, it's an antiperspirant. You will not smell, you will not stank, you will not sweat. I discovered this when I lived in Australia when it was very hot and I really needed it. And I just can't live without her. As deodorants go, it is on the more pricey side. It's, well, it's not really pricey, it's seven euro, but I always get her when she's on offer in big for two euro. Ooh. For two year off, I get her an offer when she's a fiver. I've gone through two empties, except empty deodorants just don't look good now, do they? 
Uh, it's clear, it doesn't leave any stains, it doesn't like cause rashes or anything like that and it is my, a deodorant you all need to try. If you needed a deodorant recommendation and you were like, where am I going to find one? Like, does anyone even talk about their deodorant recommendations? I do. This one. I'll link it in the description. You, you need, you, you need to try it. I'm not even lying. So the next thing in my little box of tricks, that's, this is really fun. I've never done them before, is this. This is the Rituals, Ritual of Hammam Body Wash. Now, it's a refreshing foaming shower gel with eucalyptus and rosemary. This made me feel so bougie. We, like, so bougie. Like, I felt like I was in a spa, like a seven star hotel shower and they just had this, you know, for people to use. Like, that's the vibes this was giving me. The only thing is, I, I detest the pump of this. You don't know how much you have, you don't know when it's gonna run out. It's obviously in an aerosol kind of can thing and it comes out so slowly, which is probably a good thing because you don't use as much, but also for my impatient Taurus ass, it's just not positive. Um, but I really did like it. Would I repurchase? No. Would I use it if I got it as a present? Would I want this as a present? Yes. Like I really do like the rituals, the idea of rituals and the idea of the brand. I'm just not for the pump. Like if the packaging was different, I would probably buy it again because it wasn't that expensive. I remember I went into the rituals shop in Dublin and I was just looking around like I was waiting for my mom, she was in Zara or something. And I was like, Joma, your one was doing like the whole hand demo on me, like going in with all the different, explaining everything. And I was like, oh, I feel so bougie, like this is fab. And then I was like, okay, like, I felt bad then because I'd like wasted 25 minutes of her time. So I was like, okay, how much is it? And I'm pretty sure it was less than 20 euro, which is good because it's rituals. A purifying ceremony for body and soul. And it's really like, it's a morning body wash in the shower like if you want to have a lovely refresh morning wake yourself up get yourself going for the day this is definitely the one i really did like this i just detested the packaging we're gonna switch it up and we're gonna go into hair care this is the wella color motion structure mask so this has wellaplex inside it if you don't know what wellaplex is it's basically like wella's version of olaplex wellaplex olaplex they didn't really get creative with that one now, did they? It basically is like a rebonding thing for your hair. I really, really liked it. I used it as my deep conditioner. Uh, did I notice that it rebonded my hair? No, because who the hell knows if something rebonds their hair? But I did like it and it did make my hair feel fab and it didn't affect the color because this is obviously from their color motion range and I am a high end hair product gal. So I did really like this. I would repurchase it. It wasn't too expensive, but I kind of like always switching it up with my hair. I haven't found a holy grail hair product. I think I have one, but it's not empty at the moment, so I can't talk about it. Okay, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. I know, I know you want to know. I know you want to know. And I have used multiple ones of these. So technically, if I kept the bottle, I would have an empty, but I didn't. But this is the System Professionals Lux Oil. It's a reconstructive elixir. Again, does it reconstruct my hair? I have absolutely no idea. But it does make it feel fab. It makes it really shiny. And it's like hair perfume. Like, this stuff smells amazing. And you all know I like smelling amazing. If I did have one holy grail hair product, it would be this, but we're not talking about holy grail hair products today. We are talking about empties. Okay, now we have a cleanser. Again, my empties kind of all look bust up because like, I don't even know where the lid to this is. This is the Ordinary Squalene, Squalene, however you like to pronounce it, lean cleanser. I probably would still be using it if I didn't have to order online and wait, but I'm impatient. So I only got the 50 mil just because I wanted to test out my skin before I invest in the larger size. This is one of the nicest cleansers I've used. It doesn't strip my skin. It doesn't leave your skin with that like, do that dry feeling when you cleanse your skin. By the way, you're not supposed to have that. Like that's not a good thing. Like we don't want our face feeling tight after we cleanse. 2020, you know, like 
it's not good and this doesn't do that it removes makeup really well it made my face feel really clean without making it feel really dry and it didn't break me out it kept my skin looking fabulous so 2020 is the year of skincare for me by the way i really really liked it i would definitely repurchase this but i didn't because i needed a cleanser asap i'm such the person i don't know are you where you're running out of shampoo or you're running out of cleanser or you're running out of something and you can tell you're running out of something and you just do nothing about it which would be fine if I lived somewhere where all of these brands were easily accessible to me but I'm not gonna lie I buy a lot of my beauty products online I live in a small town which doesn't have a lot of the brands that I like readily available now sometimes that's fine because you know I can do next day delivery or something like that not during a global pandemic I can't not to be complaining I know first world problem like I just let this go too long and then I realized and I was like okay I've literally have no cleanser like what help you know I would buy this again I probably will buy this again I would buy the bigger size the 50 ml didn't last too long but then again I did use it as a double cleanser twice a day so I used it like four times a day also do you know what I really loved about it is it goes in your skin dry so you massage it into dry skin and I don't know why but I just loved that idea it's a, it's a good one I want to find something that I wanted to love this I wanted to love this so bad so this is by Maui it's another body wash for the shower as you can tell, I'm into my smells, my shower smells. This is a lightly hydrating pineapple papaya body wash. When I read pineapple, I thought it would smell nicer, but it kind of has like a yogurty smell to it. And I just did not vibe with the smell. It was too sweet. It wasn't, there was no depth to it. It wasn't, it just, it wasn't for me. I used the whole thing because obviously it's shower gel and like the smell at the end of the day isn't the worst thing. But I probably wouldn't buy this particular scent again because I thought it would smell nicer than it did. But it kind of made, like, it would kind of give you a headache kind of smell. Like it's not nice. But it is a nice body wash, just not this one. I mean, if you like really, really sweet smells, then maybe. It's really cute. Uh, Nikki Blackadder put me on and also it's a really big size and it was only a tenner and it has no mineral oils, silicones, SLS, sulfates, surfactants, ales, parabens, it's vegan, it has pure coconut water and pure aloe vera juice so it has lovely ingredients and everything I just didn't vibe with the smell and there's nothing I can do about that if you don't vibe with the smell you don't vibe with the smell I have like such a strong sense of smell when I was being crafted by the gods above you know they obviously were like this girl she doesn't need to see everything you know her sight doesn't need to be 2020 she can figure that out but she needs to have the smell smelling ability she needs to have the ability to smell and the ability to hear anything I am literally, if something smells amazing, I adore it. If something smells bad, I vomit. Like there's, there's no, there's no in between. Speaking of smells, let's go on to another perfume that absolutely shocked me to the gods and above. So this is Miss Ariana Grande's Thank You Next perfume. There's a story with this one, as there is many things in my life. So I was out shopping with my mom in a shopping center and I went into the perfume shop and Ariana Grande is that bitch. Like you can't deny, she just looks like she smells phenomenal. You know, she looks like she, if she made a perfume to put out into the world, I feel like she would have to want to wear it first. I don't know, she just gives me those vibes. I had always wondered about her perfumes, but I was never gonna buy one without smelling it because that would be idiotic. I was in the store and I saw that and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna spray it myself, spray, it, give it a little tester and see how it is. So I sprayed it on, was walking around, blah, blah, whatever, forgot about it. And on the way home, my mom was like, she was like, what perfume do you have on? Like, that smells really nice. And I was like, oh, oh, oh. So I knew then that I had to buy it because I could still smell out my jumper. Like, the smell was so strong. My mom said the smell was so strong. Like, she was like, you smell delicious. I was like, thanks, mom. So I bought it and I kid you not, this is my most complimented perfume I've ever worn in my entire life. 
People stop me on the street, in pubs, in bars, in public places, restaurants, places where I haven't been in months, but they did. And they stopped me and they were like, I'm sorry, what perfume are you wearing? And that has never happened to me with any other perfume I've worn in my entire 26 years of my life. I don't know what Miss Ariana Grande did, but she did that. I have a few empty bottles of this. Obviously, because if everyone's gonna ask you what perfume you're wearing, that means it's obviously a good one. So, you know, also it's so cheap. The 50 ml is 29 euro or something like it's so cheap the packaging is very juvenile you know if you take her out of the love heart she's not too bad the packaging is not it for me but i mean it's the most complimented perfume i've ever worn so it's more of like a spring summer vibe you could get away with it in winter it's not too light for winter but it's definitely more of a spring summer kind of situation or even autumn. She also has a scent called Cloud, which apparently is a dupe for Baccarat Rouge. I've never smelled Baccarat Rouge. I've never smelled Cloud, but I just thought you needed to know that information. Moving on swiftly, skincare. It saddened me so much when I ran out of this guy. When I ran out of the Dermalogica Biolumin CI Serum, it was a very sad day. Now, I am going to be honest, it lasted months. Like, genuinely, I think it lasted me three to four months, which is a long time. I loved this eye serum. I feel like it really woke me up in the mornings. I do tend to have like really puffy face and eyes in the morning, and I feel like this just made my eyes really bright and really awake and really hey world I'm ready. I would absolutely a million percent purchase this and why I say purchase this is because I was actually lucky enough to be sent it by the Dermalogica PR team. It is if you're looking for a lovely eye serum it's only 15 mil but it lasts so long like three to four months. I don't know why I haven't repurchased it yet. Can I say much for wrinkles and stuff? I don't know, because I don't really, my eye area isn't really a big problem. Only when I do this, which we need to get some sort of Botox or something to fix that, because like, that will age horribly. But for now, I don't have any, like many fine lines or wrinkles or anything, so I can't say anything about that. But I did notice a difference in like, the brightness of my eyes and the puffiness and the luminosity of my eyes using this lovely eye serum. So I really enjoyed using that. I have so many body products. Now we're gonna move on to this. These are the Hair Burst Healthy Hair Vitamins. I have been using these for the longest time. I have recommended these till the cows come home. I have been hanging on for a Hair Burst sponsorship. Don't even know if they do them, but I have like, used these as my hair secret and kind of my life secret because I'll tell you why I have a new box here um but not only are these a hair vitamin see I kind of treat these as my multivitamin you might be looking at me and be like Rebecca why do you treat an over expensive hair vitamin as like your daily multivitamin I'm going to tell you how I finesse the system so this is obviously a hair supplement so it has like biotin in it but it also has collagen vitamin A, B, C, D, amino acids, and minerals. So it has a lot of MG, of like thiamine, riboflavin, vitamin B6, folic acid, vitamin B12. I honestly feel better on myself when I'm taking them, like mentally <laughs> and physically. I just feel like I'm taking something that is good for my insides. But, but, this comes with a but. So I do, I have been recommending this for hair because if you don't know, now you know, my hair has been through the ringer. She has been every color and shade. This time last year, it was like up to here and bleach blonde. So, you know, she's growing. She's growing really fast. We love that for her. So, you know, my hair is damaged. My hair has been bleached within an inch of its life. We like to play around with her hair, okay? I would always credit this to keeping my hair healthy, blah, blah, blah. But then I found out about this little ingredient called biotin. And biotin is obviously the main ingredient for healthy hair. This little, little thing has only, and I'm saying only, because you'll find out why, 250 mg of biotin, which I thought was a lot. I don't know how much biotin is, you know, who knows these things. And recently I was in my local health shop 
and I found biotin supplements. The biotin supplements in one tiny tablet was 300 mg and you could take four of them a day. So that's 1,200 mg. Two plus two is four, minus one, that's three, quick math. That's like over four times the amount in two of these tablets. So I did buy the biotin, so now I'm expecting my hair to be down to my ass anytime soon. These are normally 30 euro for a month supply. Now that is a lot of money and I would never spend that. So I buy these when they are buy one, get one for one cent in Holland and Barrett. I do really like them as like an overall vitamin. And you know, I feel good about myself when I take them because I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm being healthy. And they are something that I continually repurchase because I think that's a great bargain, like two months for 30 euro, like 15 euro a month, like great. I love them, I love them. I don't care, I love them. Okay, so we went from here. I'm trying to like keep switching it up, you know, keep it interesting, keep it light, keep it fun, keep you watching. Don't click off now, leave a comment. Fill my ego. As I always say, I'm a YouTuber, so the base of my personality is narcissism. That is a joke. If you can't take the Irish sarcastic humor, then why are you here? This is probably my saddest, most devastating empty. And that is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. Yes, it is Boom Boom Cream. I know it's spelled bum bum, but it's Boom Boom, okay? In Portuguese, it is boom boom. So that's how we pronounce it, okay? Oh! I could honestly just stick my nose in this all day and smell it. You have no idea how good this smells. You have no idea. I don't want to be one of those people who's like, I wish you could smell this through the screen because that's never gonna happen, Becky. I'm not referencing myself, by the way. It's just the first name that came to my head. But honestly, if you've ever smelled this you know what I'm talking about and if you don't like the smell of this what's wrong with you obviously not an ounce not a drop was wasted this is a bougie body cream okay I'm not gonna lie over a half my YouTube check last month would be spent on a tub of this like it is expensive so either I don't earn a lot off YouTube or this is very expensive, I mean, either way. I adore it, I've already repurchased one, it's on the way. I wish I did it sooner. I finished it yesterday and my body just does not feel the same. Number one, it smells absolutely phenomenal. Number two, I have been manifesting a sponsorship from Sal de Janeiro, which included me watching all their YouTube videos and their YouTube channel, and in turn falling in love with the CEO while I watched videos of her explain like the whole brand ethos and mission. And I just adore Sal de Janeiro. Like if anyone from Sal de Janeiro is watching, like even hit me up and just say like, hey, like they reply to my Instagrams with love hearts, which is really cute when I mention them in my story like 700 times. Watch this space because your girl will be sponsored by this brand sometime soon in the near future. Not only does it smell like the best yummiest thing you'll ever put in your entire body, but it hydrate, like I have such dry skin. Like I have the driest arms, like they get flaky. Like it's vile. And my legs, like my shins, dry. My upper arm, dry. My elbows, dry. Like, I'm so dry. Like, I don't know why, but I am so dry. Help me. And this does. This helps me, but it doesn't have me wandering around my room naked for 20 minutes after I apply it. Like, I can literally apply it and like get dressed. Like, no wasting time here, honeys. So I love it for those two reasons, but also it kind of does bits for your skin. Like, Genuinely, my skin feels firmer, my skin feels tightened, it has that acai, it has that guarana. Watch my pronunciation, would you know my boyfriend's Brazilian? He would kill me if I said gua guarana, like guarana, acai, get with the program. So anyway, I feel like my skin is tighter, but it's not gonna work miracles, you know? Like you have to be realistic with your product expectation, ladies. You can't just lie and smother yourself in this all day and think that your skin's gonna get tighter. You know, you have to be working out. You have to be doing your dry body brushing. You have to be accumulating water. You can't just expect to lie in this 
for 24 hours and all your skin's going to be tightened because that's not how it works honeys but it does definitely like i have seen benefits and i just feel like if i didn't use this on my body from now on like i wouldn't be respecting myself you know i just i you just once in your life on your birthday treat yourself to this and then just apologize to your bank account on my behalf from then on because once you use it once lads, you won't actually be able to not have it in your life i just adore her i use it all over my body as well because some people only use it in their legs and their bum but i use it all over i adore this i have another one on the way yes she is pricey but if you can afford her treat yourself because you're gonna smell amazing you're gonna feel amazing you're gonna be like oh self-love self-care i'm using my expensive bougie moisturizer all over my bougie body and then you're gonna want to work out more because you're like i'm spending so much in this moisturizer to look good naked that like if i'm really strong and i feel good naked and i'm really confident then everything's gonna work out better you know Sal de janeiro if you're watching hey hi how are ya love it flaunt it you got it is there like brand motto and like how me is that? Love it, flaunt it, you've got it. Yes! Sol de Janeiro, honey. Okay, now that I'm done licking Sol de Janeiro's ass for eight minutes straight, we're gonna talk about good molecules. This is the teeniest, tiniest oil I have ever seen. It is very, very small. It is only 13 mil. When I got this, I was like, this has to be a sample size. Like, this has to be a joke. But... It is a pure cold pressed rosehip oil. So the whole idea behind it is that it's so fresh that they can't do it in a big bottle because like you can't have it sitting on your shelf for so long because it's that fresh. Which I kind of love, like I'm kind of living. So anyway, it's made in Korea. We love a bit of a Korean skincare moment. And it is a really nice, rosehip oil probably the nicest one i've used i'm not gonna lie it's also very affordable i don't know the price off the top of my head but i'll put it on the screen now look how affordable that is i'm pretty sure it's very affordable i adore this i actually want to get another one i when i had it i used it maybe two or three times a week at night time lathering up my face you know it helped my scarring i would believe like some bits of scarring i had and also it didn't block my pores because obviously when you hear oil and you've acne prone skin you're like that is not going on my face but yes this is amazing she is tiny she is mighty she is powerful we love her i know some of you might be listening to me being like Ricky, you just love everything but as i already said if i finished it i either loved it or i wanted to love it okay let's go on to a, another body wash the third wa body wash of the video again by sol de janeiro this is the brazilian foreplay oh, it just smells so good brazilian foreplay moisturizing shower gel shower cream gel i adored this i love the smell it made me feel really nice in the shower but it is 25 euro and I can't justify 25 euro for a 380 ml body wash like I just can't like I prefer to take half that money and get this like I don't think is this gorgeous is this fab yes but if you're trying to save your coin and you want to choose get this you know that kind of way I probably would buy it again when I was feeling spendy and like treat yourself but I'm trying to save money at the moment so she's not going to be in my current everyday for now but like, would I buy it all the time if I could? Yes, but can I afford to buy a 25 euro shower gel every six weeks? No, we want to make moves this year. We want to save, we want to see the world. Would I love to do it whilst having this in my travel bag? Yes, but I just can't. But it is really nice and I do adore it, but I just can't justify 25 euro on a body wash but i do love it so it's kind of it's kind of like a catch-22 like i love it but i love having money but i love this but i want a lot of savings but i love this but i want to move country but i love this but i want to see the world but i love this but i want ugg slippers you know that kind of way i don't have the ugg slippers yet but i probably would because a quarter of an ugg slipper is one of these I, you know you get me okay okay see I'm not just here to lick Sol de Janeiro's 
behind. I'm being honest with you. Honesty is the best policy. We have the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. The thing that gave me a lot of views on this channel. Maybe you subscribe to me from that video because it is near 26,000 views right now. Which is wild for me because I don't even have 2,000 subscribers. Anywho, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I have used her. I have another jar that I'm in the middle of using now. I adore this moisturizer. I really, 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 really like it. And I would love to use another one of these if it came in a lighter formula. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna say anything else. You've heard nothing else for me. If you wanna know my full thoughts on this, I'll link the video down below. It is something I've used up, and I'm not gonna bore you with talking about it. I do really like it. I do think it's worth the money. Just a spoiler on that video. I used it for 30 days and kind of gave a little before and after. So I'll link that video in the description box. But I do really like it, and I have used it up. Fully. Another empty that makes me very, very, very sad because this is probably one of my favorite clay masks I have ever used. I use clay masks twice a week to keep the skin glowy, even, gorgeous, beautiful, stunning. You know, all the words you think of when you look at my skin. This is the Sand and Sky Australian Pink Clay Mask. I have been using this for the longest time. I use this, does anyone else remember when it was in like the baby blue kind of packaging? Because I've been using it, this since then. It is such a good face mask. I adore it. I adore it. I actually do need to order a new one. See, this is why I didn't want to do this video is because now I'm like looking at all the empty things I have and I'm like, okay, so add all to cart and buy. But also I want Ugg slippers. Anyway, I really like this face mask. It works wonders, shrinks pores, detoxifies, brightens, smooth skin, doesn't aggravate me, and it is all gone now, which is very sad. You do get a while out of this though. I did definitely get, like it's a 60 gram tub, so I definitely got like, four to six months out of it, depending on how often you use it. I alternate all my masks. Four in one formula, great face mask. If you want a new face mask and you want to treat yourself, buy this one. It's gorgeous, we love it. So now we have this bad boy. This is the Bondi Sands Vitamin E and Jojoba Coconut Scent Body Moisturizer. Again, oh. Now, do you know what this smells like? It's like Bondi Sands bottled up this exact moment, right? You go on holidays, you're lying out in the sun, you're eating some Lay's, maybe a tropical flavor Lay's because you're in a different country. The barbecue ones in the black bag are my personal favorite. And you're eating your Lay's and you're sunbathing. And you come in from a full day of sunbathing and it's time to go for dinner and a few cocktails. You go for your shower, you moisturize your body up and you're lying on your bed eating your Lay's. This is that smell. I don't know how they bottled it. As in, in a good way, like they bottled up the smell. But that is what they did. If I was feeling like a budget queen and didn't want to, you know, splurgy splurge on this, I would buy this. Are these two scents the same? Absolutely not. Worlds apart. But they both smell phenomenal. Also, this is SLS free, paraben free, vegan friendly. They have a body wash of this, which is actually quite nice too. It's very affordable. This is 500 ml and it's only 12 euro, I'm gonna say. Again, I'll leave the actual price on the screen, but I adore it. It is a great body moisturizer. It is a little bit more sticky. It's not as fast drying as the other one and it probably doesn't have the whole skin firming properties, but it is a very nice moisturizer and it smells fab. So when you're feeling like a budget queen, this is, this is for you. We have the simple eye makeup remover. One of the best eye makeup removers I have used. Not gonna lie, because I hate, does anyone else hate when you use an eye makeup remover and it leaves your eye all oily and you kind of go blind and some goes into your contact and then you have to take out your contacts and like soak them in your contact solution? Just me? Okay. Anyway, I hate that feeling and this does not do that to my eyes. 
no artificial perfume or color no harsh chemicals that can upset your skin no alcohol no mineral oils no animal derived non-animal derived kind to skin kind clean beauty and it's also in a recycled plasticky thing which is why the plastic looks kind of gray great eye makeup remover would repurchase we have two things left in my box and these actually weren't supposed to be left together but it kind of works out that they, they did so the first thing is the niacinamide serum from good molecules again 10 percent niacinamide i adore this i love this this changed my skin it made my pores less significant and it is budget friendly for my budget queens i love this great then we have the charlotte tilbury magic serum now i'm putting these together because i was using this i ran out of this and then i replaced it with this this is more of an all-in-one serum she has some vitamin c in there she, she has some roplexium thing that like charlotte tilbury has patented or something she has niacinamide so i was trying this for a video where i tried it out for 30 days and see how my skin reacts you know how it goes in this channel so i was doing that and i ran out of this at the same time so I had seen such results from this one in my skin that I was like, I wonder when I start using this, will my skin deteriorate because I've stopped using my holy grail niacinamide. Now it didn't, but this is 72 euro, whereas this is like maybe 10. And this has more benefits because it has like, it's infused with like crystals and like Charlotte Tilbury, the packaging. These are both glass, but this one is, visibly more bougie the charlotte tilbury is visibly more bougie than our friend good molecules so yeah if you're in the hunt for a niacinamide serum i would definitely recommend the good molecules ones it really helps with my texture if you are a more bougie serum gal and you usually buy multiple serums and you're looking for like an all-in-one like i'm a fast gal i don't want to waste my time with five different serums then i really adore this again i just did a full video on my full 30 day thoughts of using this so i will link that down in the description as to not bore you with my full review but i have started using another one because i had yes this is my new one yeah yeah Ooh, ah, bah, 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 do, ah, da, da, da. anywho I purchased it initially because I was very excited and wanted to get my video done to get it up quickly to hopefully get views, to hopefully view my, boost my channel. And also I really like Charlotte Tilbury products and the magic cream was stunning. So I was like, hmm, what's the magic serum going to do for my skin? And then I was kindly sent it. I was kindly sent it by Charlotte Tilbury's Irish PR team. PR, not pure. People always... <laughs> People always get confused when I say that word. Yeah, so then I was sent it, so I have another one. Would I repurchase though, is the real tea. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. And I explain more in the video that, yes, I've noticed a difference in my skin, but I don't know, is it solely down to the serum? I think I'd have to stop using it. And if I saw bad results, then I'd repurchase straight away because it is a bit more spenny. It's expensive. And th the problem is it's expensive and it, it goes really quick. Um, I like it. That, that is all I'm saying. That is all my empties. I'll probably do another one of these videos if you enjoy them, but it won't be anytime soon because I don't go through things that quickly, number one or I don't use up very many things because if I hate them, I just won't finish them. Is that wait wasteful? Yes. But I'm trying to do more research on products now before I buy them, so hopefully that won't happen. Like I'm trying to avoid that situation as best I can. I wanna know, can you comment below what do you consistently use and repurchase and buy over and over again? Let me know in the comments because I like knowing what other people swear by. If someone else swears by it, then I'm pretty sure it's gonna be good on some level, you know? Let me know if you like these style videos. Do you like me talking about all the stuff that I've used up? Is that interesting? Did you hate this video? Thumbs up, 
leave a comment. If you're new, if you've never been here before, hey, hello, hi, welcome. My name is Rebecca Shore. Welcome to the family. If you like my vibe, do not forget to subscribe. We're aiming for that 2K. We are on the 2K train. I am 111 subscribers away from 2K at this very second. If you enjoyed my vibe, hit that subscribe button. If you use any of the products that I have used up fully, please let me know down below, especially if anyone has used either of these two because this is magic and clearly this is magic as well. So if you've used either the, these two products especially, let me know, but let me know if you've used anything. Like I love having the chats with you all. Anyway, that's me done. Thanks for watching guys. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.